wasn't I wasn't flushed. Uh, hey guys, um, wonderful film and I'm such so glad to be here. Mm -hmm. That's but um, uh, and happy belated Father's Day. I just celebrated thank my you. first. Uh, so uh, congratulations. I, thank you. Congratulations. So I wanted it to, to suck after this. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask. The first <laughs> time. Yeah. That's the only easy one. That's it. That's it's all hard. The first one's all a mom. You got nothing. Start being hard. All she did was make up a day and get her stuff <laughs> and act like it's from them. When they get her brain and start to really get you stuff, it's not yeah. shit. Oh, the presents? Yeah, the presents are awful. Horrible. I, I didn't get anything. I got a pair of lime green sneaker laces. I don't have one lime green sneaker. No, laces. it's a one way relationship. Stupid. You care for them and you give and you get nothing back. So good luck. Not good luck. Right. Enjoy your father's day too. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, follow up on that. Thank you. Follow up on that. Um, and that's what I wanted to, wanted to ask. As as performing artists, uh, uh, what and and fathers yourself, what's the worst thing and what's the best thing about being an art, uh, an artist as parent as well? And has it got has it changed over the years since you're so much successful now? Uh, uh, I think. I mean, I think. Not to cut you off, but I see, I see where it's going. I think, uh, you know, the one amazing thing about being an artist or entertainer is providing for your family. You know what I mean? As a man, you want to be able to give the security to your woman and to your kids and build a foundation. That's the plus. Uh, but with any gift, there's a curse. The curse is we have to work. We're traveling people, you know? Our job isn't, it doesn't keep us stable. We're, we're gone. And, you know, sometimes being gone is tough when you're close to your kids, as Louie, as myself. And I, I think it's a balance that you have to find. And when you find it, you run like a, a well engine, a uh, well tuned engine. You know, you, there are no, no bumps along the road because your kids not have an understanding of what their father does and why he does it at the capacity that he does that. So an understanding comes along the way. But as a father, you have to make sure that your kids understand that. You have to, to make sure that you're instilling those positive images in their head of what daddy does and why he's going where he's going. I have the uh, sort of the reverse, which is that, uh, I mean, I'm Kevin's 36. Yeah. And he's a young dad. I'm 48 and my daughter's 14. And uh, I find that I can I can spend more time with my kids because I get can, I get a little more control. If you work at a factory, you're going to the, nobody you know you can't go to the factory boss and say uh, you yeah, know I want to go with my kids to this you know to the park or something. You know, fuck you, go to work. <laughs> uh, so I have a little more control over my life in that sense. But also, it's nice to model for your kids that you can do something you love and make a living off of it. It's not realistic, so I get worried sometimes. I always tell my kids. This isn't normal. You may have to do something that's not your favorite thing and still make a living. I think the most important thing you can give your kids is, is an education on how to take care of yourself. So it is a challenge actually, as a show business dad, to model normal taking care of yourself behavior, even though what you're really doing is making stupid movies and standing on your head and making people <laughs> laugh and getting a disproportionate amount of money to your actual contribution. Does it feel uh, how does, uh, different to make an uh, animated project for kids and families now? I mean, how, how's that? Because this is Yeah, it's family. nice to make something your kids can watch. That's a nice thing. I, my kids can't see anything I make, except for this. <laughs> <Tommy> Ups, <laughs> however <laughs> long this movie is, it's the only thing my kids can I watch. I let my kids watch everything I do. <laughs> <laughs> you go to school, you recite daddy's lines to your friends. No, no, I'm joking. It is good. I mean, look, you want to be able to have material that your kids can watch and watch with you and laugh and, and just, uh, I guess you could say, say, that's my dad. You know, the other things that I do, I can't let them watch them uh, at this age. Just some things that they watched uh, just because your dad and you want them to be able to say they saw it with you. But for the most part, you know, animation is the right way to go. And I'm glad that I was able to squeeze one in before they get too old. Thank you. Last question. 